welcome to Glen Tilt. This valley in the Grampian Highlands contains some of the most important outcrops in world geology because it was here that James Hutton established that granite is not deposited out of precipitating seawater but actually is an intrusive igneous rock. Much the lower glen, the river cuts through well layered sedimentary rocks. Well, actually, they're meta sedimentary rocks, they've been changed by the action of heat and pressure and recrystallized. But you can still see the original layering and banding. So, there's no dispute that those were once deposited, well, underwater by the action of sedimentary processes. But in the high ground at the head of the valley, well, we go up into the Cairngorms where there's a lot of granite and in the later part of the 18th century there was a debate as to the geological significance of granite. In the earliest days of the science of geology some people thought that granite was the product of sedimentary processes. It was a type of sedimentary rock that precipitated out of some kind of primordial ocean. The advocates of this view were called Neptunists. A counter view, however, was proposed that granite, rather than being precipitated from an ocean, actually came out of the Earth's interior and had solidified from once molten rock or magma. And the advocates of this view were called Plutonists. And that debate was settled here by James Hutton doing some basic fieldwork making observations of how rocks related to one another. Hutton came to Glen Tilt in 1785. He knew about the different rock types that lay in the glen. What he was after was the contact between granite and sediments. He was looking to disprove the Neptunists' ideas. So in March of the glen, you can see rocks like those that are behind me, which are well led sedimentary or former sedimentary rocks. They're metamorphosed, but there's not much doubt that they were originally deposited by sedimentary processes at the former Earth's surface. But there's another rock type here. Granite. A pale rock largely composed of interlocking crystals of quartz and felspar. And Hutton saw that the granites, the pale rocks, made seams that cross-cut the metasediments. So there's not much doubt that those pale rocks have invaded and sent off stringers into the surrounding sediments. In other words, they've intruded the sedimentary strata here. So they're not part of the sedimentary succession itself, They've come in afterwards, and this was the fundamental observation that Hutton was able to make here. In places, thin granitic veins riddle the metasediments, clearly invading them, until eventually all that remains are a few floating lumps of metasediments. We call these xenoliths. Floating in solidified magma, granite rock. So really dramatic and clear outcrops and it shows the importance of basic field observations for understanding earth science processes. These outcrops in Berlin Tilt were central for supporting the Plutonist case and falsifying the ideas of the Neptunists. It's interesting that even though the debate was settled in the early part of the 19th century, the term granite remained controversial right into the middle of that century, with geologists shying away from the use of the word granite, and in many cases, certainly in Scottish geology, replacing it with the word cyanite. An interesting controversy. And that's why these outcrops in Glen Tilt 
are fundamental to the history of Earth science.